Boom. That is definitely going to slay out there. Mmm. They're going to smash that thing. Let's check out the knockers on these. Oh, yeah. Deep knocker, man. I like it. Boom. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of some baits that I ordered from Tackle Warehouse, as well as a few packages that were sent in from some of you guys out there watching. Just a quick reminder before we get into the unboxing, you still have a chance to get entered into the super power pack giveaway that we have going on. Giant bait bag full of Six Sense baits, Matt Lure swim bait, brand new pair of Waterland shades. Check out theheaterzone.com. Score yourself a piece of merch to get entered. No matter what you order, whether you get a t-shirt or a sticker pack, you're automatically entered to win the giveaway. So check out theheaterzone.com. I'm wearing the Heaters Only hoodie right now. We're currently sold out of these, but we do have some Heaters Only t-shirts left as well as the Faduda t-shirts. Fish every day until the apocalypse. Thank you to everybody who has ordered a piece of merch and been supporting the clothing line so far. But let's get off into this unboxing. First up, I have a package here from Preston Loy from Statesville, North Carolina. Carolina. Let's rip off into this bad boy, see what we got. Looks like some hand poured paddle tail swim baits. Sweet, dude. Check them out. Love that color, dude. Got that dark, it's like a dark purple, almost lavender on the back. A little bit of a uh, shad style dark gray mixed in there. It's got that iridescent flake that just gives it that awesome live bait fish shimmer cool dude thanks preston for the swim baits he hit me up said he was pouring some paddle tails wanted to send me some there's another one in here that just caught my eye these being hand poured you got that variation in the pattern i like that one right there that looks really natural how the color right here sort of bleeds down into the body of the bait i don't know if that was intentional but shoot that looks awesome heck yeah dude thanks for the paddle tails preston much appreciated Next up, I got a package here from Robert Harrington out of Roseville, California. Let's see what Robert sent us. Some crystal light. No, I don't I don't think it's crystal light. Let's see what we got here. Dang, looks like a uh, it's like a little hard bait. Check that thing out. A little bullfrog baby bass action. I think Robert said that he was getting into some bait making, wanted to send me one. Thanks, Robert. I appreciate the love. A little baby bass lipless crank action. Cool. This reminds me of some of those old school baits you would see back in the day. Sweet, dude. Nice. Much appreciated. Thanks for the crystal light. <laughs> Next up, we have a box here from Robert Timmerman. Two Roberts. The second Robert, so shout outs to both Roberts. This one is from Robert Timmerman out of Louisville, Kentucky. Let's see what Robert sent us. There's a familiar sound in there, man. I think I might know what this is. Looks like there's a note on top. Justin, found an extra one. Five total Chesters. Thanks again for all your hard work. Congrats on 16,000 subs. On to 100,000. Robert. Little handwritten note there from Robert. Thank you for taking the time to write me a note. Oh man, you shouldn't have, dude. You know, this is exactly what I like to see. So Six Cents has been sold out of my favorite Crush 50X color for a while now. We're waiting on the restock to hit. They should be back soon. But Robert reached out and said he had something that he wanted to send me. And it is none other than a box of Chester Cheetos, the Crush 50X Radiation Craw. You guys know Chester Cheeto has become a staple here on the channel. And I've got not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Crush 50X Chester Cheeto crankbaits. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Robert, for the love. Much appreciated. Thank you to everybody who uh, reached out and sent a package in so we could open here on camera. I appreciate all of you guys for sending something in. But now we're gonna get off into the big package that I have over here, the big box from Tackle Warehouse. Got online, splurged a little bit, bought myself some fishing tackle. And I know how you guys love the unboxing content, so we're gonna crack into this box and take a look at what I ordered together. I will say this, there is something in here, a bait that was designed by the people who run my favorite fishing YouTube channel. So there's a little hint as to what you might see in here. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and crack off into the box. 
if I'm not ordering from Six Cents, chances are I'm ordering from Tackle Warehouse. I've always had good experiences ordering from Tackle Warehouse. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. They're just a reputable company and they have just about everything you could possibly need as an angler. So hopped online, placed me a fat order. Let's crack off into the box and take a look. As always, shout outs to Berg Blades. This is the Bottle Butcher from Berg Blades, at Berg Blades on Instagram. Never fails, somebody always asks about the knife. So that's what that is right there, the Bottle Butcher. It's a sweet little EDC piece right there, man. All right, really quick before I hop off into the box, if this is your first time watching or if you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. As Robert mentioned in his note, we recently hit 16,000 subscribers, but we're on that mission to hit the ultimate goal of 100K. Color in the bar back there on the subscriber board. I would love to have you guys riding along with me. I put out new fishing content over here on this channel all the time, both from in here in the garage, unboxing new fishing tackle and from out there on the water fishing. So if you have fun hanging out with me today, consider subscribing to the channel. First out of the box the complimentary Tackle Warehouse sticker. They always send the sticker out. Got a few of these stuck around. Oh, I have one right there on the subscriber board. Look at that. With your $600 worth of tackle, you get a free sticker. Next up, Ultra Vibe Speed Craw Watermelon Red. I have a friend that fishes the same lake that you guys see me fishing here on the channel all the time, and he absolutely destroys with the Watermelon Red Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. So I wanted to grab me some. I had some variations and some Watermelon Reds and the regular Speed Craw. But I wanted to get that ultra vibe in the watermelon red, see if we can make something happen. Just a smaller profile, cross style creature bait. My plan is to rig this up on a 3 aught EWG hook with a couple beads and a tungsten bullet weight, see if I can dial in my speed craw game. Never had much luck on it, but I'm determined to get out there and put in some time with this thing yet again. Try to hone in my skills, see if I can put them in the boat using this, because like I said, I have a buddy that fishes with this all the time, and he absolutely dominates. Shout outs to the homie Cecil, the GOAT. That's the Zoom, ultra vibe, speed craw, watermelon red. All right, so to go along with the speed grouse, I have something that I don't really have a lot of experience using. I never really got into using this stuff, but like I said, the homie Cecil says it's the money. So trying to branch out, hone in some different techniques, try some new things that I've never tried before. And one of those things being scent or attractant. So this right here is the scent. This is the Mega Strike crawfish formula, scientifically advanced crawfish formula fish attractant, amino acid and protein based molecularly structured extra long lasting gel in a no mess tube. Like I said, I've never really been big on the scents or the attractants. I'm not really into the idea of getting this stuff on my boat. And I really didn't want to be messing with some volatile chartreuse liquid attractant that I'm gonna spill into my carpet. So I went with something like this in a tube that's a gel. Hopefully we throw a little bit of this on one of those ultra vibes and see if we can put a few more fish in the boat. I don't know, we'll find out together. It's not something that I've done much of in the past or at all. I've never really been big on the scents and attractants, but we're gonna find out, see if this stuff actually works. The mega strong Right, crawfish. Hopefully this will end up being the dynamic duo and we can go out there and catch 600 fish like my buddy Cecil does. Seriously, man, he absolutely destroys out here on my lake and I want to try to mimic that success and see if I can make a video fishing a small profile creature with some scent on it and just see what happens, man. So that's coming, stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. We'll be doing that in the near future. Next up, you guys know I love my Kitek paddle tail swim baits. So I went ahead and grabbed a few packs of Kitex. This right here is the perch color, 3.8 fat swing impact. I was going for natural green pumpkins, bluegill type colors, something that I don't fish a lot of, but I wanted to add to the arsenal. That right there looks pretty killer, man. It looked awesome on the website and it looks even better in person if I'm being honest. Another thing I love about the Kitex is the scent. They remind me of the old school power bait from back in the day. But there's an up close and personal look at that perch colored fat swing impact. It's got a dark green pumpkin back with a natural watermelon seed belly, some red and black flake in there, a little bit of gold dust as well it looks like. And I think that will do great on the back of a natural sunfish style jig. Stay tuned if you wanna see what jigs I have to pair this up with. You probably already know, but they're on the way and we'll be doing another unboxing really soon. So you guys will get to see even more tackle cracking content from here in the garage. Next out of the box, 
Psh, old reliable, 3.8, fast swing impact, sexy shad. This is my favorite color that they make. This is the color that I throw 99% of the time on the back of my Devon swim jigs. It's just an awesome color. It's a clear, really light, natural profile, silver chartreuse flake on a shad colored body. You guys have seen this here on the channel before. Got another pack of those as well, doubled up. Gotta always stock up on the fat swings. Next up, here's another natural sunfish style color. This is Mossback Golden Shad in the same bait. Let's crack into the package here. We'll take a look. This one is a little bit more vibrant Vibrant, got a little bit more shimmer in there, a little bit more flake and glitter used in this one, but it's got that natural clear belly with a green pumpkin back. It's like black, green, and gold flake. Yep. Smells awesome. If you guys want to see what jigs I'm going to be throwing these on the back of, stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Subscribe to that channel. Help me hit 17K. Yee! Next up, here's another natural sunfish style. This one's a little unique, man. This one caught my eye when I was shopping around on the website. It's not a color that I would typically throw, but a lot of times a color like this can make you stand out, show the fish something they may not have seen before. And here in my clear water, sometimes red is just the color to do that. So I went with the Pro Staff Special, which is like a clear shad mixed with a pink sort of faded morning dawn with a green pumpkin back. We'll crack it open and take a look. Yeah, look at that thing, dude. Look at that. Awesome. That is a really unique, but really natural looking color. It's got like a motor oil back, not green pumpkin. I said before, oh my God, here comes somebody on a lawnmower coming down the street. Never fails, man. Anytime I try to shoot a video, they're like, fire up the wood chipper. Get the chainsaws out. Let's drive the lawnmower down the block. Oh man. It's a pretty cool lawnmower though. I wish I had a zero degree turn radius lawnmower like that. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Looks like the back on this is more of a motor oil color, not green pumpkin like I said a minute ago. With that clear, faint, pinkish belly. Little bit of subtle flake going on in there, but not much. The Pro Staff Special Kitech. Want to try that bad boy out, see how it does on the back of a squim jig. And we'll all find out together if you guys are interested in seeing me throw these things. Stay tuned, because I plan on putting them to the test right here on the channel. Got another one that I don't remember ordering. This says black, blue, green pumpkin. I have to check my, let me check my invoice. I don't remember ordering any black, blue, green pumpkin. That's on there, I guess I did. Huh, weird. This is not a color I would typically pick out, but it looks cool, so we'll take a look at it anyway. You guys know when I do these unboxings, I like to crack into every package, give you guys an up close and personal look at what's going on with these baits. But yeah, it's a green pumpkin belly with a black and blue back. Really bold, really stand out. Like I said, not a color that I I would typically throw as I fish a lot of clear water and I don't really know what compelled me to order this bait. I might've accidentally put this in the cart to be honest with you. I'll tell you what, man, maybe we'll just do a giveaway with these. Let's do that. YouTube exclusive giveaway going down right now. If you wanna win these, go down below the video and leave me a comment and let me know why I should send you these baits. I'll go through and I'll pick the most compelling comment to win or the funniest comment. If you guys just wanna leave something creative and funny, but also I'm gonna need you to click thumbs up on the video. So if you fish dirty water, murky water, if you need something bold, stand out, and you're looking to try your hand at some Kitek Fast Swing Impacts, go down below the video, drop me a comment, click that thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and I'll go through and I'll pick somebody to uh, send these Fast Swing Impacts to. Just as a thank you for watching the vid, I think I accidentally ordered these. So, my loss is your gain. Black, blue, green pumpkin coming at one of you guys live and direct in full effect. Just drop me a comment, let me know why you need these bad boys. Looks like I have one more pack of Kitex in the box. These are really natural, just a go-to, super natural, super productive color. That green pumpkin watermelon, you guys already know. It's just green pumpkin with black flake mixed with watermelon seed. Everybody knows this color. If you can only have two things on deck, you have like a shad pattern and then like a green pumpkin pattern or a watermelon seed pattern like this right here. Really natural green. Gonna do great on the back of a natural profiled squim jig. And there we are. We got through the Kitex. Now we're loaded up with paddle tails to throw on the back of some of the jigs that I have on the way. Stay tuned if you want to see what jigs I went with to pair up with these Kitex. Next up, I got a couple more baits in here before we get into the bread and butter of the package. The main baits that I'm looking forward to taking a look at with you guys. First up, this is a new one from Z-Man. This is the Jackhammer Stealth Blade. And by Stealth Blade, if you can see there inside the package, the blade on this chatterbait is clear. Clear profile, fish a lot of clear water. This is the Stealth version. Going to be putting off a lot of vibration, but not as 
much flash, not a big bulky piece of metal up there on the front of your bladed jig. Looking forward to giving this thing a shot. Had my homie Jay gone fishing, go out and fish with this recently, and he hooked into a monstro that ended up breaking him off, but he was using this bait right here. And uh, I had actually ordered this one right around that same time. So looking forward to throwing this thing. Got it in a nice natural clear water shad color. That's the Stealth Blade, the new jackhammer from Z-Man. We're in the clear. Now this next one, super popular option. This one's been cracking off and I've seen so many people talk about it that I just couldn't resist ordering one for myself. You guys know I love throwing the reds. This is that fire craw jackhammer. This thing has been tough to find at times. A lot of places they've been selling out and I had to get me one to add it to the arsenal. Pretty vibrant red i'll be throwing this uh fall and springtime you know i've been actually out there on the water throwing the jackhammer a lot lately and i wanted to try my hands at this fire craw so i snagged one from tackle warehouse two new jackhammers the stealth and the fire craw but now let's get off into the bread and butter of the video the thing i'm most excited about in this box being someone that makes fishing content for youtube i also watch a lot of fishing content on youtube and probably if i had to pick just one channel that i would say is the most encompassing when it comes to entertainment and education is absolutely tactical bass you guys know I love throwing the Whopper Plopper from River to Sea and Tactical Bassin. Matt and Tim, they teamed up with River to Sea to create their own crankbait, their own deep diving crankbait. And since we're coming up on winter time, which is one of my favorite times to throw the deep cranks, I thought, why not go ahead and crack off an order, secure some of these for myself and go out there and put them to the test and see if I can get it done with their deep diving crankbait that they recently released. It was really popular when they first dropped it and it sold out really fast, but I checked Tackle Warehouse and they had plenty of stock. So I went ahead and snagged me a few of these things and we're going to crack them out, take a look at them one at a time here together. This is the Tactical DD Crank 75 from River to Sea. As you can see, it has the Tactical Bassin logo there on the back. This bait was designed by Matt and Tim from Tactical Bassin. Watch those guys a lot. They've taught me a lot about bass fishing. You guys know I love cranking and I love deep cranking, so I grabbed me some. Look at that thing, man. Big old bill on there. This thing is gonna dive down to 18 feet if you want it to. It doesn't have to go 18 feet, but it has the potential to get down there really far. So gonna need some specialized cranking gear to throw this, no problem. Problem. I have the Cloud9 Cranker and the 8 foot Moderate Lux Series Rod from Six Sense Fishing. That right there is an awesome looking crankbait. This is like the most natural pattern I think that I went with right here. This color is called Glass Minnow and I think that's going to destroy out there in my clear water. Check that thing out, dude. Check it out. Like I said, you guys always see me throwing the plopper. River to Sea, they make some good stuff. Nice hooks and hardware on there. And uh, yeah, big fan of Tactical Bassin. So I wanted to snag some of their cranks for myself. See if we can put them to work here on the channel but wait there's more next up this is the mirrored minnow check that bad boy out same type of clear body with uh, some silver iridescent paint on there and a black back nice I think that'll get it done what else do we got oh i like that one ghost minnow is that is that the same as is that the same as glass minnow this is ghost minnow just a little bit different I was about to say, I don't think I ordered two of the same ones. Let's crack this open, take a closer look. Oh yeah, that's my favorite one so far. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it just has that shad, really natural looking, sort of lightly applied sheen on the side of that. Ghost body, boom. That is definitely gonna slay out there. Mm, they're gonna smash that thing. Let's check out the knockers on these. Oh yeah. Deep knocker, man, I like it. Boom. Yeah, look at that, almost lavender. Beautiful, awesome. Stoked on that, stoked on that. River to Sea making some awesome stuff, man. I've really only ever used the Whopper Plopper from them, and this will only be the second bait that I've ever got from River to Sea, but from what I can tell, they make quality stuff, and if Matt and Tim decided to go with them to design their crankbait, I'm willing to give it a shot. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. All right, next up, we're going with the craw pattern. Like I mentioned, you guys know I love throwing the reds. This is the Blood Craw Tactical DD. Dark red, got that ghost red body, black accents with a little bit of orange flake in the back. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but shoot, that's an awesome looking red crankbait right there. Get down there deep, see if they want something, something a little more bold. I was getting all shad patterns and saw that red one and was like, ah man, I gotta grab that one too. Couldn't resist. But wait, there's more. We got one more in the box to take a look at. This one right here is the DD Minnow. Really similar to that mirrored minnow that we looked at a minute ago. But I've seen Matt and Tim throwing this color on their channel and I had to snag it. It's got a clear base with the silver sides on the body. A little bit of amber, red, orangish accent there on the gill plates. Dark top, looks like a light green pumpkin. Ghost body, super natural, but stand out as well where you want something a little bit more flashy. Those bait fish are schooling up and you need to stand out amongst the crowd. Awesome. Yeah, that's a sick color, dude. That's just awesome. Heck yeah, man. 
So we got some new stuff to try out together, but that is going to go ahead and wrap up the unboxing portion of the video. If you liked hanging out with me, checking out these new baits, subscribe to the channel, help me color in the subscriber bar back there. Once again, check out theheaterzone.com, scoop yourself a piece of merch. We have a few t-shirts left in a few different sizes, and I would love to see you guys out there rocking the merch for yourself. In addition, I have linked down below in the video description, multiple ways that you can support the channel. Check out sixcentsfishing.com, use my code JR10 for 10% off everything on the website. Also, big shout outs to waterlandco.com, same thing. Thing. JR Tenant Checkout on waterlandco.com is going to give you a discount there as well. Angler Born Quality Built Polarized Fishing Sunglasses. Check out that video description. Subscribe to the channel with notification bells on if you want to catch all my future content. I put out new fishing videos like this all the time and I would love to have you guys ride along with what we got going on over here. Here comes the lawnmower. <laughs> I'm just driving around. I'm just driving the lawnmower around the neighborhood. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I'm just cruising around on the lawnmower, man. What about it? Once again, thank you to everybody who sent in some baits to the show. Thank you to Robert and Robert and Preston. I appreciate the custom baits and the Crush 50 Chester Cheetos, best believe. Also, one last quick reminder that if you don't wanna buy any baits, I got you covered. If you just go over there to theheaterzone.com, score yourself a piece of merch, I'll get you entered in to win this super power pack giveaway. All of that is gonna be going out to one lucky person that chooses to support the channel by scoring some merch. But thank you guys for watching the unboxing. That's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I'll see you on the next one.